Hello, this is Mark from I Am Organic Gardening, and I have a special uh, guest today uh, via a phone call. I would love to travel to his farm. Uh, I'm just not able to do that with my autistic son. So Paul was kind enough to call me back, and I apologize. Uh, I had to grab the camera real quick. The video is a little shaky, but the contents of him speaking is more important. So. What's interesting, and I want to just go over this, and there's a lot of people out there that think the wood chips is the key ingredient, which is the first step, and I show that a lot of my videos. But also, what's more important, and he'll go over two with me in this phone conversation, is the mycorrhizal fungi. How that's very important to make everything healthy and to build soil, or to grow soil, and to keep the soil food web alive. Now, all these videos, all these fantastic videos, you can go to Learn to Survive, a great channel, has a lot of interviews with Paul on his farm. I will provide a link to below, and then you can go see uh, the videos yourself. Now, the phone conversation will be starting a little bit, and which I recorded. This is his sequoia trees behind him, and this is what's always in the beginning of his tours. And I want to go over the importance of mycorrhizal fungi with him. So I'm going to show you that, uh, or let you hear that phone call that I got from him. On the phone right now is Paul Gauchi, and I just want to go over a simple little tip that might help you understand um, in the future about what he's trying to explain how important the soil food web is and also the mycorrhizal fungi. Hello, Paul. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Good. Now, in most of your films that you show and you're out doing your gardening tour, which I love, is you're standing by your sequoia tree. Now, can you explain to the people listening that the um, sequoia tree is using mycorrhizal fungi and that's not what's in the wood chips, that's what's growing in the ground? Yes, it's growing in the ground and I think it's also supported by the needles that fall to, you know, to maintain that cover over the, over the roots. Right, and then the roots are also supplying life to the mycorrhizal fungi, correct? Yes. Yes, very good. I just want to keep this key point so people can learn from it and go from there. That it's important to have that beautiful mycorrhizal fungi in the ground growing things. I thank you very much for your time. You're so welcome. Bless you. Bless you too. Thank you very much, sir. Now, here's a very good example of what mycorrhizal fungi does in the soil. Say this is his sequoia tree, or this is a seedling of a sequoia. Now, what, what's nice about this, you can see the roots down here. And all this little white filament around here is growing. Now, you're able to see this. You won't be able to see this in the soil, because this is magnified with a special lens at 400 times magnification. So you can see this little white lines outlets here. These are not roots. That's mycorrhizal fungi from the main roots. And that's growing in the ground. The reason why it's growing in the ground and not from the wood chips, because it has to have a living root. It has to invade that living root and grow in there and then send out these little white filaments. It, that, it can never do it from wood chips because it's not a living material, even if it decomposes. Now, what you see sometimes in there, a lot of people make a common mistake, that material that's up on top here with the white fungus in it is called sapotrophic fungi. And they just think it's the same thing. But for this to live, it has to have a living root, plus it has to have a plant that's bringing in sunlight, bringing in carbon dioxide, and feeding all this, and then it can grow. The plant has to harvest the sunlight for energy, and then the energy brings in the carbon dioxide, the carbon feeds the soil, and also the mycorrhizal fungi to grow. So you need a living plant in the ground. So that's why Paul's garden is so fantastic because he has all these trees growing here and this is spread out in the ground. Now the mycorrhizal fungi, it will die every 30 days and needs to be replenished. So that's why you also have to have a living root in the ground. And that's where it's very important that you keep something there, not tilling the soil so this mycorrhizal fungi can live in your soil. I thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this. 
I just want to go over some of the basic facts uh, just to make it a lot easier on people to see and understand how Paul's doing it and how I'm doing it and we want to share it with you because we want you to have healthy food and we want you to have the correct uh, information out there that this is growing in the ground not from the wood chips. If you just cover the ground with wood chips you're not going to achieve growing this mycorrhizal fungi. I want to thank you very much for watching this video today, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe, and I'll see you again. Uh, hopefully I can get Paul on the phone again and uh, talk about some other key points about the back eating garden. Thanks. Talk to you soon.